Cooper Bay has one of the larger rural Alaska schools with about 500 students. The village is proud of their warriors. This school is where they learn and play sports, but is also the village's emergency shelter, keeping hundreds of people safe from the recent storm. We have been coming to school to eat here. Most of the village had to evacuate when the winds reached over 80 miles per hour and the town started to flood. Glass was broken, so we stepped away from the glass and then we come here to school, get ready to pack. We sleep in here and be good in here. We block the front door and use the back door. The fence was shaken. Our house was shaken too. Our house was getting cold, our lights shut off. Now, about a month later, they are still impacted by this storm. Our lights turn off. It was super dark. Every time we go to bed, it gets super, super dark, uh, even when we wake up. Many of these students are faced with a new living environment and a new understanding of the power of Mother Nature, but also a peaked interest in meteorology. This is one of my cool tools that I use as a meteorologist when I'm forecasting the weather. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Yeah. They are only in third grade, but the science makes sense to them. Do you think it'll be wetter or drier? Wetter. Wetter, yes. So meteorologists use little clues like that to help us to figure out how the air is changing. And now they can explain what storm surge is, how to stay safe from it. No, real hard, real hard, real hard. The water's going, the water's going. And why it's so powerful. So that is storm surge. When the wind blows the water onto the land, life hasn't been easy here. But they are finding joy in the simple things and working hard to get back to normal. In the Weather Lab, from Hooper Bay, I'm Melissa Fry, Alaska's news source.